Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of The Hottie Life Apothecary and I'm a professional blah, 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 professional astrologer, tarot, and intuitive reader. Forgive me you guys, I've been up since 5.30, 6 a.m. this morning finishing the intentions from last night's full Aquarius moon which I gladly was working on and gladly focusing my intention and really putting my all into those oils for my clients. I could just tell, if you guys are following me on Instagram, I was high vibing and I, I typically vibe so high with the full moon, but last night was spectacular. Truly the energy was absolutely spectacular. It was so magnetic. I like to share as much as I can when I'm working my ritual, when I'm just vibing. I love full moons, but my phone has been absolutely like blasted with just way too much, um, you know, videos and content and those types of things that bombard it. But also it's been high key a blessing because it just allows me to just pull myself even further into that space, which has been stunning to say the least. So if you reserved an oil with me or a candle, honestly, thank you because it has been really, really powerful. The intentions that you guys are setting are clearly defined um, or at least when spirit is working through you or speaking to you when into your heart, you guys know what you want for the most part. And for those of you guys that left it open, it truly feels like there's just doors opening in your life and it was, really awesome to get like the second hand wind of that you know what i mean it felt really really good so those oils and the candles well the oils definitely they need to sit for a day or two um and just continue to absorb continue to to vibe they're under this big hibiscus bush that i tend to as soon as i walk out into my backyard which has evolved into an, an, a, an amazing sacred space for me the entirety of the backyard has been a sacred space so um, know that they are in good hands. They're shaded and just in a really beautiful spot within my home and I'm really excited to get those oils wrapped and in your hands. So let's talk about this week ahead, okay? Virgo season officially has begun on the 22nd um, and naturally I myself am a Virgo. Naturally, this is a time to think about being more productive, being more efficient, working smarter, not harder. And it tends to be a, a time in our lives where we are focusing on the harvest and we are trying to put into place the what we have already achieved, what we've already accomplished, what we've already experienced up until this point. And it's not about getting it perfect. It's about finding what fits for you in a way that is wholesome and authentic to your state of being. And as Virgo season begins, as the sun begins to move into the sign of Virgo, our energy starts to shift into um, not a space of productivity, although that is definitely there, but I just see a, a, an element of simplifying in the form of quality, not quantity, because too much doesn't feel so good. At the same time that I'm seeing that, I feel like for some of you guys, there might be a little bit of a trigger when you are being called to release certain uh, comfort zones, comfort blankets, friendships, just things that are dietary, just things that you would naturally gravitate towards that were comforting, comforting for you. But spirit is now telling you and speaking into your life that moving forward, this may not be the healthiest option for you. Now, this is not just physical traits within your life and in your experience. This could also be the ways that you think, the ways that you move, how you approach others. There is a really strong level of discernment that is coming through and discernment means that you are being intuitively called and guided to be cautiously and consciously aware of the energy that is being brought into your life and how you absorb it so that you can make 
of a, a decision that is for your highest and greatest good as far as is is this something that you want to absorb and to process it you know what i mean do you want to accept this or is this something that you need to reject to do that there has to be a certain strength and character and knowingness of yourself so that you for example, let me take a step back. When I, when I say that, I mean that you know who you are. You know your self-worth. You, you are understanding of your value. And if you do not have a high sight or value of yourself or worth of yourself, spirit is going to find new ways to inspire and invoke a higher perspective, a higher vision of yourself and higher self-love, which you do deserve. As I said that my higher wisdom candle just popped off I lit this mad early this morning again I was working the intention oils and nearing the end and I felt very very I was just buzzing man and you guys if you know if you're an intuitive if you're a psychic if you're a sensitive like me an empath or if you work with Reiki energy healing you know when the body starts buzzing like that your hands start buzzing it kind of feels like it's vibrating that's when your 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 psychic sense is really just tapped in and just really really strong that you could just feel it on the physical planes and that was when I just decided to pull away for just a moment to focus and I felt guided to work with the higher wisdom candle which if you guys need need something similar like this or the same thing you can find that within the apothecary but this is what I'm vibing with now and I don't know if you guys can see this but I did get a new sky ring mirror sky ring can never really say that I'm not of course I'm gonna say this as a Virgo I'm not 100% satisfied with this mirror it is what it is um, I, I, I specifically asked for obsidian and this is definitely not obsidian it's a plastic plate and just for my own <laughs> when I want something I want what I want I don't want them to give me something other than what it is that I asked for <laughs> so but it will work for right now anyways back to what I was I was saying and my Virgo fine attention to detail will pick up the difference between you know what's right and what one eight one eight what it ain't you know um, but anyways so yes my loves my I felt called to light that candle so it just popped and basically to bring it full circle and to bring it back to you and to bring it back to us and the energy of this week the vibe the vibrations of this week your higher wisdom, your higher self will be the first one to tell you, okay, you know, this is something that does not feel good for me. The truth of this is not a vibrational match. It doesn't matter what its intention is. It just means that, you know, whatever it is doesn't, is, is not, I'm not, I don't want to harmonize with it. My spirit does not want to align with that. Um, for whatever reason and discernment is set into place in order to self-protect and to preserve your your energy your aura etc etc i'm sure you guys understand the first card that jumped out you're not going to believe this but you probably will the seven of swords i'm not even surprised seven of swords not only shows what we can't see what is hidden to us but we can typically sense when something is off. It also will show up when we are encouraged to have more discernment into the feelings, the red flags, that gut instinct that tells you, you know what, something doesn't feel right here, so maybe let me not be a part of this anymore. Let me kind of slip out the back. Let me kind of disappear from this situation. Let me get out of this circumstance. Spirit is really guiding you towards that this week. Um, five, I'm also getting this really strong sense, you guys, of processing the matters of the past that still are prevailing, that still are showing up, that are still popping, like rearing their ugly little heads. Why is this? Well, we have so many planets right now that are currently retrograde. We have Uranus retrograde, we have Chiron retrograde, we have Neptune, Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto retrograde. And then at the end of, of September, well, at the end of August, no, at, in September, we're gonna have Mercury retrograde. So we have a lot of planets right now that are working under the radar in such a profound way that's like this big it kind of reminds me of a, a big current a big undertow that you don't want to get caught up in how do you do that like how do you look out for yourself if this is energy and you can't see it 
what do you do? Well, it's a vibe. It's something that feels off. It's something that doesn't feel right. It, you have that strong sense of what I'm hearing is you and danger girl. You know, I think it was Oprah Winfrey from the movie Ghost. You have that sense, you know, something just ain't right. And you don't have to spend too much time trying to figure out and find out where it's coming from. You just need to know that sometimes you don't need to be there or you don't need to engage. You don't need to, um, you know, try and fix it, try to coo it, try to woo it. You just, just be out. And it's no coincidence that Virgo energy is also really strongly in alignment with um, and rules the, the, the energy of the Hermit card. The Hermit card is about going internal, asking those deep questions, you know, that you feel, uh, you know, called to ask of yourself at this moment in your life and in your journey. And take the time out that you need in order to find the answer that makes the most sense to you. And then from those answers, whatever it is that you unpack, you then say, okay, moving forward, I am no longer going to allow myself to stress out about this. I'm no longer going to uh, let this slide. I'm no longer going to allow myself to drop the ball in this area of my life. I'm no longer going to enable this behavior. I'm no longer going to allow myself to get caught up in this toxic addictive pattern or mindset and what i love for every single one of us is the temperance card showed up reversed the eight of swords reversed the queen of cups upright the nine of wands reversed and also the five of cups upright what these cards are showing me as well as what i'm seeing within the chart is that there are some really incredible patterns that you are breaking free from that you can intuitively sense that once you let go of them once you surrender them once you abandon it once you you know release it it really you, you'll be so impressed with how spirit starts to put everything into a, a beautiful balance things will start to effortlessly begin to even themselves out and balance themselves out I do see a little bit of work. I do see a little bit of work, but this work is more along the lines of making sure that you are giving yourself a little additional time away from the excitement, the noise of the outside world, the voices of your friends and family or the voices within your own mind. So diving further into your med own meditation, your own sacred practice in order to just cool and calm all of that so that you can come back into your your space um there's a lot of mental the word is mental anguish that i'm seeing resurfacing and it's things that you're having a really hard time processing and or it's a new way of life that you're having you might have a have a difficult time adjusting spirit is clearly telling me to tell you to be really graceful and kind and patient with yourself during this process that a little for you will go a long way. It doesn't all need to be done overnight. If you try to do everything overnight, it really will bombard you. And to be honest with you, my highly sensitive beings, you guys are so, I don't wanna say energetically open, but you're, you're, you're energetically vulnerable to being too open, too overexposed. Shout out to my friends, my family, and those that I've witnessed lately who are pulling away from social media and pulling away from their old circles or old ways of life and saying goodbye to things that they have realized that do not serve them anymore. It is they it's with the chariot card reversed showing up for a lot of you guys and the death card reversed, death and rebirth card reversed. Um, the Tower card here, the Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords reverse, Temperance reversed, but Queen of Cups upright. This is really showing me that a lot of you guys were on this track in your life. You guys were in this car. You guys were moving in one area of your life and it was so successful and it was so productive. And you have decided from an inner knowingness, this level of success does not feel successful to me. 
yes, I can see how far I've come. Yes, I can see how far, you know, all the hard work that I put in and, and I can be proud of myself and I have a lot to show for it. But to be honest with you, I've got to pull this car over and I got to get out. And I want you to go on without me and I'm going to walk because I need to take this time to not rush to the my, to my final destination, but I, I need to slow down and come back to myself and recenter. And I don't want to like fly or rocket myself to the end destination. I want to take this time and walk solo. I want to take this time and walk solo because I have some things that I need to process and I have some things that I need to sort out and I can't do that if I continue on here. Go on without me. I'll be fine. That that takes so much strength and so much courage. And that's all that's a lot of what is I'm seeing within within the cards. And the thing is, is that you have to understand within yourself, your higher self, your higher knowingness. And this is what I've been telling you guys for months and, and honestly like years, like a year and a half, some change, that you know, only you will know what is right, what is wrong for you by the way that it makes you feel. Your higher self gives you signs and is always communicating with you all the time. But if you if you logically approach those messages and if you logically approach what you're hearing and feeling and try to um, you know, rationalize it, I'm afraid that you will continue to carry forward in something that you know is not a good match for you. I, I shared a, a, a message and a vision that I received recently, not only with my Sacred Circle Tarot School, and shout out to you guys if you're in the Sacred Circle Tarot School, let me know down below in the comments, that way I can say hi to you once again. I shared this vision with them in the Sacred Circle Tarot School, and I also shared the vision much later with my Instagram, on at Bahati Life and I was telling them how I had this vision mad early in the morning of this vision of a latte which is a stimulant and a treat and then the, the other image that I saw was I thought it was dirty water but I asked spirit I was like what is this and they said it's beer which is a depressant and you know a treat for those of you guys that enjoy you know and or those for those of you guys that partake in either caffeine or lattes or beer or wine, whatever. And I saw these two hands trying to, well, not trying, but they were pouring into a bowl, like a cup. And I, my brain, my first thought while I was watching it was that's, those two don't go together. Like they're, none of them is neither better than the other or worse than the other. They're both stimulants. They're both technically a drug or a beverage that we partake in just for different reasons, different methods. We all have our you know, weapon of choice. You guys know I love my coffee, <laughs> but, and then I don't do well with alcohol. I've never really been a drinker. Um, but either way, it doesn't matter. They were very polar opposites. One was a stimulant and one is, you know, a depressant, right? But either way, they don't go together. They don't go together. But there's nothing wrong with them, but they, they just don't go together. And Spirit was pouring, you know, showing showing me as we were pouring it together. And I was going to, you know, prep for you guys to come talk to you. And Spirit said, exactly. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with this. But they're not meant to come together. You're not meant to have both at the same time. And you're not meant to force it. And with the Temperance card reversed, I'm not surprised that this card is showing up. Um, I have it upright, but technically the traditional symbolism is a hand, this archangel, who's coming together or um, standing with one foot in the water and one foot on the earth and pouring together to, you know, trying, like co-creating, like kind of mixing and melding and merging and harmonizing two very opposing uh, presences. And it's not that it can't be done, it could, but Spirit is clearly saying that some things that you might be trying to figure out how to make it work, it's not going to work. Or if it was to work, you might not want it to. And this is where you are guided now to decide for yourself, do I wanna open the door or tell that whoever's driving, or maybe I'm the driver of my life, and you open the door and you pull off and you abandon ship, okay? And that's okay. 
because there is a sense here if, if you were to continue going on down the successful journey that everyone says look at what you've done look at how far you guys have come look at no just try harder try harder some things it's not about the effort sometimes it's not about pushing yourself further some things just aren't meant to come together or if they were sometimes it's not right now right and there are aspects of yourself there's a reality there's a, an, a perspective shift there's an awakening there's an aha moment that you either are in the middle of right now or you're just exiting out of that you do want to give yourself a little additional time to not only process it but to allow your spirit and this new world that you're in to kind of settle so that you can be calm again because there has been so much disruption. There has been so much disruption. The tower card is also here. So give yourself a little additional time and space to not try and figure out how to make this work, but to, to give yourself permission to allow the brain, the mind to rest after everything that you've had to process, after everything that you've been requiring of yourself or that has been required of you, the thoughts you've been thinking, the effort that you've been putting in, the work that you've been exerting, the energy that you've been, you know, giving out to the world. Um, you know, that that that's okay. That is okay. I'm just now seeing this, but the justice card is here reversed. And and also the Hierophant, the Hanged Man, the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, but it's justice reversed that's really standing out to me. And with the Hierophant here, it's so funny because I see that the Hierophant is showing up as the wisdom of an elder or the wisdom of, um, you know, the powers that be. Okay, so for some of you guys, this could be the court system. For some of you guys, this could be a marriage. For some of you guys, this could be some type of breakthrough that you're waiting from a college, a university, a job. Someone who you're waiting for their input. You're waiting, waiting for their, their counsel, their advice. And they say to you, from your perspective, you know what, the, the, the circumstances have not been fair. Um, having said that, we're going to award you this, we're going to allot you this. Now, having said that, Spirit says, take that time out to Seven of Swords. Be off the radar for just a little bit instead of racing to the next destination. Some of you, for a lot of you guys, you really do want to just pull off really quickly. It's not forever. It's temporary and it's just enough time for you to calm and cool the chaos of the mind or thinking so much even if it's not chaotic or anxiety inducing or uh, trigger alert if you guys are vulnerable to hearing you know words like this but like maybe mental health or depression or just things that plague you that have been bothering you or health issues there's a lot of things worrying okay can I trust this person? Can I trust myself? Can I trust where I'm headed? I've lost my faith. These are all things that you might have been grappling with that you might have been losing sleep over or just worried about. Some of you guys, you're genuinely planning weddings during a pandemic, you know, or you're trying to make plans. You're trying to move during a pandemic. And it's just like, it's you're you're how, like how, how? how it's like working with red tape or working through the you know the the, the bureaucratic system like i can't i always mess up those words but it's just red tape red tape wall 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 challenge challenge obstacle obstacle opposition opposition and yet you're just finding your brain is always finding a new way it could be home improvement home repairs where you're like it's like a person who's doing DIY. So you're excited about something or you're motivated or you're ambitious. There's a goal, but your brain doesn't really have a chance to shut off because it's always thinking about, well, what if I do this? What if I tweak it here? What if I, and this is a great time this week to turn that off, to turn it off. Mercury is going to be opposing Neptune. Neptune really, and when Mercury meets that and Mercury's moving through the sign of Virgo can think a mile a minute. It can think so many different thoughts, so many different options, so many different theories, and even overthink thinking. Trust me, I know. <laughs> but with Mercury di di uh, directly opposing uh, Neptune, Neptune retrograde, the water is so muddy, muddled. It's it's um, it's not clear. So with Neptune and Pisces, it naturally rules the ocean, but sometimes that's a beautiful thing. However, when it's retrograde, 
it's like a storm just passed and those waters are all churned up. So it's hard to see, it's hard, what is that? Is that a dolphin or is that a shark? Is that a piece of trash? Is that a stick? I don't know, should I be afraid right now? And the thing is, it's like, allow the brain to rest because this could really carry off in a different direction. The other thing that just came through is don't try to force conversations, projects, work, with people who are muddled themselves, who don't have it together, especially right now. This is not a shade or you're not being shady, you're not reading anyone for the filth, you're not judging them. Just trust, trust, trust the fact that that's not working out. Trust the fact that it's not mixing and harmonizing for whatever reason. You are dodging a bullet. If you carry on and continue to try and work it through, I think that you will be successful, but not in the way that you would have liked, not in the way that you would have been expecting. And with Venus on the 26th, directly opposing Chiron, Chiron retrograde right now, uh, Chiron retrograde really wants you to be independent. It really wants you to try to um, not fend for yourself, but that's kind of what it's going to feel like. But if you do have the ability to connect with someone who is helpful and knowledgeable and knowing and has been there, done that with what you want for yourself, you're gonna have to learn how to speak up and ask for that help, to learn how to speak up and ask for that direction. Because especially with Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, there's a lot of energy here that is truly Queen of Cups, receptive to you, but it's your own, it's your own, thinking that says I should have I should be able to do this by myself or I should be able to have the answer or I should no ask for help ask for help um the 26 also mercury trine pluto this is a really awesome moment that I can see for transparent authentic honest communication that could be very cathartic and healing this is when a friend tells you you know what i've been overburdened you know what i've been telling the world that i've been okay and the reality is, is that i haven't and you have to realize you guys aren't the only ones who are under the the energy of of this and of this we all are so it's all kind of showing out and playing it's playing itself out in some way in every single one of our lives on the 29th, after they have this re real revelation or after there's this um, conversation that is able to be had, then the 29th, as Mercury enters in the sign of Libra, then and only then can we harmonize and work together in order to find something that works for all of us, in order to find something that is truly stunning and beautiful, especially as Venus, lovely Venus, trines Saturn. Even as Saturn is retrograde, there's something about Saturn that absolutely adores the beauty and the transparency and the vibrancy of Venus, especially as she's moving through um, Libra. So even retrograde Saturn relents to her. He, he, he bows to her and says, come through my queen, like come through. I value you. I hear you. I will let down this hard, heavy, tall, long wall that I've built around myself, this fortress that I've built in order to protect or to establish what has already been secured and is so difficult to pull down, I've, I've actually created a way for you. So this is, would be an amazing time when it comes to doors opening in your finances, doors opening in your relationships but it's not gonna come from you beating it down and being cold or, or um, forcing your way or opposing and saying, this is my way. No, it's gonna come from a space of compassion, kindness, softness, grace, beauty, and attraction, all of those things that you hold. If I was going to suggest and recommend any type of candle or oils from the apothecary for you to work your magic, I would definitely say, do you see that? the higher wisdom candle for that third eye knowingness that we've been talking about and the time while you are in your sacred space, while you're in your hermetic stage, while sun is moving through the sign of Virgo. I don't see this so much as only strictly you pr productive in your work. I see it as you strengthening and developing your psychic and intuitive muscle so that spirit speaks to you in a way that is so clear or clearer for you that feels really good and supportive. I'm also seeing um, the money and business candle for you guys. 
Uh, the, the Money and Abundance Oil is fantastic. Um, for setting intentions, I also am getting a lot of romance and healing. And I don't know why, but quality of life is something that's showing through. For you guys, listen to your, follow your discernment when it comes to that. But if I were you, I would do like a Goddess Vibes oil. Love that. You guys know I love that. You guys know. All right. All of which will be linked down below. Oh, and as I said that, I totally forgot. Nine of Pentacles, quality of life, hands down. Beautiful. Love that. Love it. I love you guys so much. Please understand that you deserve the best. You deserve the best. Manifest it. Vibe with it. Connect it. Magnetize it. Attract it. Be it. Be about it. I love you. I am going to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to hang out with me and the rest of the Bahati Vibe Tribe down in the comments and elsewhere as well as like uh, Instagram and Twitter because we're around. We're always talking and cooing at each other and giving each other love and support and sharing our own experiences, which I value. Until then, I will see you guys in my next video. I'll talk soon. Bye.